Hello you beautiful people, it is Tooth here, Tooth Decay. So yesterday was tea day. It was the day we did the tomahawk steaks. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit worried about this, folks. I've got four massive great big tomahawks that my mate Randy paid for. All different sizes, all different thicknesses. And I ain't never cooked four bits of steak like that. The people want done to order, right? You're gonna have a nice bit of steak like that, you want it cooked the way you like it. We little Violet likes hers well done. Violet, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Me, Randy, and Mrs. Tooth, like a medium rare. I had all that going on. You'll know that I did the peppercorn sauce ahead of time, and that video will be in the description below. And I also did a 48 hour dry brine, uh, and there's a short of that also in the description below. And then to add a little bit of complexity to my day, my other neighbor, Colin and Barb from down the road also decided that they were at a loose end, so they would pop round. So we got them a couple of bits of rump. So now I've got six different steaks, two different types, all different weights. Colin wants his rare, Barb wants hers medium rare. Got three tomahawks at medium rare, one at well done, and I'm a Home chef. <laughs> so the question is, was it the holy grail or an epic fail? So I figured today weren't the day to fuck about, right? Today is the day where you do what you know. So my Napoleon has the sizzle zone on the side burner, gets up to like nearly a thousand degrees centigrade. It is hot, hot, hot. I put the steaks on that to give them a bit of a sear first. No reverse sear today, no fucking about folks. This is just good old fashioned steak cooking. And then once we've got a little bit of sear on there, and I know it's not the Google way. The Google way is to get the crust all over. But there are plenty of people who like crosshatch, right? Come on, there are plenty of steakhouses that just do crosshatch. So I wanted to get the crosshatch on there. And then I moved it all over, all the steaks over to the, the main grill. And I guess I kept the temperature sort of medium low but i was all day up and down with the temperature probing the steaks at each end to make sure that they were cooking evenly and then flipping them this way or flipping them that way depending on what needed to happen to make sure that we got an absolute perfect result and of course you're doing all this at the same time as wanting to be a good host and have a laugh with your friends who are around every single one of these buggers has been watching me on youtube and all using my catchphrases <laughs> Which is, look, it's a bit of fun, right? Adds a bit to the day. So anyway, I got the peppercorn sauce out of the fridge and put that in a big pan and just left that on the corner of the grill to get hot while I was doing the steaks. And I asked people how they wanted that steak served. So for me, a tomahawk, the classic way to do it is to slice it off the bone after it's rested and then slice it across the grain and serve people the slices. Now, I think what Randy wanted originally was to have the whole thing on his plate so he could like pick it up like a Henry VIII pork chop and <laughs> on it. I'd have been happy with that. But anyway, I said, look, well, this is the way I'm serving mine. Mrs. Two says, yeah, do that for mine as well. And Randy invites her and Randy went, yeah, yeah, no, no, actually we'll have it the way you're having yours. Thank you, Mrs. Tooth. Mrs. Tooth just bought me a cuppa because I am feeling a little delicate after last night. Anyway, have a look at this, folks. This is me cutting into Randy's steak. There is hardly any grey bands. There is a nice bit of crust. It is pink and juicy in the middle. And what does the piss-taking little shit say? Latest potatoes. Off on popping. So we served up this beautiful meat with a simple side salad. That vinaigrette that I made the other day. The peppercorn sauce that I made the other day. And just some buttered potatoes, folks. Because we love potatoes. Love spuds. And my posse thanked me by thanking you lot and filming this. Light as potatoes off your pop. <laughs>